All right, guys, today we have a waterfowl pattern test with a new load from Rocky Ridge Ammo. So stay tuned. All right, so like I said, Rocky Ridge sent us a box of, I believe, 25 here of a duplex load and 20 gauge. Yeah, it's a one ounce. There you go. It's three quarter ounce. Hold it to the left more. There you go. Three quarter ounce of number four steel shot and a quarter ounce of number nine TSS going 1,350 feet per second. And it is a three inch shell. And it is a three inch shell. So we're gonna shoot this today out of my Franke Affinity 320 gauge. And in the end of that, we got the Kix High Flyer Modified Choke. So we're gonna shoot this at 30 yards and see how well it patterns. And I'm guessing if it's anything compared to their turkey ammo, it's it's gonna be pretty good. So let's shoot that left target over there and see what it looks like. And the reason why we're shooting at 30 instead of 40 is for us, 95% of our shots are 30 yards and under. So that is why we pattern at 30 uh, because it's pretty much as far as we shoot for ducks especially. So it just makes sense to limit to that. You said left target? Yeah, I'll shoot the left target. There's a lot of shot on there, but it looks like it shot high. A little high. It looks to be so. It looks quite a bit higher. Let's go down, scribble some circles. Not as many as our normal TSS turkey loads, which will be nice. But let's go down and take a look at it. All right. So again, we shot the Rocky Ridge duplex load of number four, number nine TSS. And it was out of the Franke well, Affinity 320 gauge. Four steel and yeah. TSS. Yeah, that's why. Just wise. to be clear. Four, it was, so everybody knows it was four steel and nine TSS. Yes. Out of the Franke Affinity 320 gauge with the Kicks High Flyer modified. And at 30 yards, shot's a little bit high, but everything's on paper. And that will just give you a wall of shot. I mean, you got one void right here, but those nines seem to do a good job of filling in the voids, minus that one right there. I mean, really, there isn't gonna be a duck that I see that's gonna fly through that unless you shoot over the top of it or way underneath it. Well, you just tried to shoot over the top of it and you put three in his dome piece. I, actually, there's, <laughs> there is, I mean, he's, he's done. So it does give you some leeway, but. Nothing in the breast, perfect. Nothing yeah. to worry about. But no, that, that's a good load right there. You'd have no problems killing ducks with that, but we'll take that off. We'll scribble in the rest of the circles. We'll put our 12 inch on there and go over it a little more. So we got the 12 inch circle on there for this. And of course, in the core of the pattern, that void had to be in there, but that is what it is. But the amount of leeway that you get above that, below that and off to each side, I mean, if you can shoot, there's not a duck that's gonna make it through there. You could probably even kill geese with that, really, yeah. with that nine shot in there. Especially 40 yards and under, geese in a field, you'd be all right. You only, you get a few flyers in there, but that's to be expected. A couple up at the top here, and I don't even know if I'd call them. Yeah. Yeah, they're all a couple, a couple voids down, the, or a couple flyers at the bottom, but to me, that's just like a wall of shot right there. One void, but still, I don't think, maybe a teal would get through there. That'd be about it. But that's a pretty impressive first showing for the Rocky Ridge waterfowl ammo. Yeah, I, it makes me happy because, hell, opening day, I don't think we shot one over 25 yards. So that would no. be an absolute hammer in our first. Oh, that would have, well, we yeah. didn't even have it. <laughs> any cripples with just steel shot then. Yeah. Well, I, I'm not a firm believer in you need more than steel, but no, just because I've seen what we, how we hunt. Yeah. But that would be that that TSS load's nice because it's not too tight. Most of them we shoot, it's like so freaking tight. Yeah, it's almost 30. like yeah, it's almost like shooting a turkey load at them. It's yeah. stupid. 
Yeah, this is nice. That's a, that's a nice yeah, pad. I want to have some leeway when I'm duck hunting. I don't want to shoot a ball. I don't want to shoot a 12-inch circle like what I do with turkeys at a duck. Yeah. Yeah, that's like, that's perfect right there. I mean, yeah. at 30 yards where we shoot, that's only going to get more constricted. It's going to be perfect. Yeah. I like that. Very nice. Rocky Ridge does it again. And that is the choke you usually shoot, right? The modified? Yeah. Yeah, I've never had any purpose to shoot a full or extra full. It kind of starts blowing out the patterns, at least to me. Yeah. But. Yeah, right. that's a good first showing for sure. Yes, yeah, sir. What's that? All right, for now, this is Chris Johnson, Blue Collar Outdoors. If you haven't yet, like and subscribe to the channel. Down in the description below, Jake will have the links to Rocky Ridge Ammo website, the store everything that we have available and everything we use so i'll put the, yeah. like, the sharpies i'll put all that stuff oh. all the links will be in the description yeah. all the links will be in the description below but we got one more test to film today so we're going to get that in and enjoy our nice hot fall weather here that's great for hunting it's stupid it is but let's get one more filmed until then we'll see you guys on the next one